What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So the Diddy situation is just like a gift that keeps on giving because another person has joined the expose Diddy train and it's none other than the former rapper turned pastor Maze. Now for some of you who may not know, Maze is Diddy's former artist. He was signed to Bad Boy Records back in the 90s and the two had a very nasty fallout. Mace claimed that he wrote most of Diddy's rap verses while he was signed to the record label, and that Diddy never gave him credit for it. Diddy just made it seem like he wrote his own bars so that he would keep all the money to himself. So basically, he picked and chose when he would pay, and Mace even said that Diddy underpaid him for some of the projects and didn't pay him at all for some other projects. Now at the time, Mace wasn't afraid of Diddy at all. In fact, he constantly spoke out against Diddy after he left the record label, and Diddy retaliated by making sure Mace was blackballed and he would never ever get another record deal. Mace just pretty much fizzled out of the rap game because at the time, it was his word against Diddy's and Diddy had a lot of respect in the music business. The funny thing is, Diddy has always denied blackballing Mace and not paying him saying made, only made one album so he did not make Bad Boy that much money. He also said that Mace had left rap and turned into a fake pastor because he didn't have what it takes to make it in Hollywood. I did one album with Mace. One album. How much money do you think I owe this guy? One album? And then he became a fake pastor and went and conned people? Mace quickly responded to Diddy's claims by saying this. I'm going to tell you why, you know. If the devil can use him aggressively, then I want you to know God can use me aggressively. These guys have organized a mass organized effort to slander my name behind the scenes. So every time I say something, you're just seeing my part because their part is behind the scene. But I want you to know I'm up for it. I'm up for it. I'm anointed for it. I'm anointed to dethrone it. Now, Mace has been quiet ever since that time, but recently when the feds raided Diddy's homes in LA and Miami, he came out to express why he chose to leave Bad Boy in the rap game for good. Did you make the right decision leaving rap? I did. Everything now that we see playing out was all the things I escaped. The car, the, the shine, the loan, Puff Daddy, Craig every, Mac. the Craig Mac, the Biggie Smalls. The Biggie Smalls. So even though I made those decisions and it cost me money, that's why I got with Killer and they gave me the money back. I didn't lose no money. Destiny. He also exposed Diddy for allegedly secretly recording celebrities who came to his parties without their knowledge. According to Mace, Diddy has every single room in his house wired with cameras and microphones, so he has some pretty damning evidence on the celebs who have been in his house. And get this. Diddy's homes have had cameras in them since the 90s, so he has been collecting footage for close to 30 years. Mace's claims do back up the allegations in Lil Rod's lawsuit where he claimed that Diddy allegedly records celebrities without them knowing, and then he holds it over them. The lawsuit said while living and traveling with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones discovered that Mr. Combs has hidden cameras in every room of his home. Mr. Jones believes that Mr. Combs has recordings of celebrities, music label execs, politicians, and athletes. Upon information and belief, these individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent. Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person who has attended his freak-off parties and his house parties. Upon information and belief, due to the treasure trove of evidence he has in his possession, Mr. Combs believes that he is above the law and is untouchable. What I really find interesting is the fact that celebs haven't really come out to condemn the raids, and while accusations Diddy is facing, he's pretty much out here on his own because most of them are scared of what's going to come out on them, and they don't want to be canceled. As usual, fans chimed in saying, Mace loving this Diddy karma. Whatever Mace saw, Diddy do, drove him to the church. He didn't stay there, but he definitely knew to flee to Jesus after being around the diddler. And Mace saw something so crazy at Bad Boy, he left hip hop when he was the hottest rapper in New York and became a preacher. That's all I need to know about Diddy. Anyway, guys, do let me know your thoughts on this whole situation in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Catch you in the next one.